The body of Mika Yamamoto, an award-winning Japanese journalist who was killed in Aleppo, Syria while attached to the Free Syrian Army, has been transferred from a forensic institute in Turkey, where it will be taken to Istanbul before being flown to home to Japan for burial. This piece of footage, believed to be her last shot, shows people standing on the street and then chillingly four gunshots can be heard. The footage then freezes and no more can be seen or heard. Her colleague Kazutaka Sato, who disclosed to Reuters that Yamamoto was his wife, speaking in a hotel room in Kalis, Turkey, after crossing the border, said a group of Syrian soldiers who started shooting in their direction may have been able to see she was a woman. I, I couldn't save her. I couldn't. So she, she, she is my right side behind. So two or three meters, so right side. I couldn't see immediately they shooting, shoot it. So distance is 20 or 30 meters. I recognize their face. And immediately they open fire. How can I, how can I just uh, run away? You was with her? Yeah, I couldn't saw her just uh, separate. She, she fall down or not, I couldn't see anything. Just uh, I ran on the left side. When he was then asked off camera about his thoughts on the Syrian army, he concluded by saying they were there to tell the truth about Syria. I don't, uh, I don't have uh, I, no idea about the uh, Syrian army because uh, we are journalists, so we won't try to go to the, not front line, try to go to the first. It's our responsibility. And because we won't show the, all of the world what happened in Syria. As a veteran war reporter, Mika Yamamoto had covered several armed conflicts, including those in Afghanistan and Iraq. She is the fourth foreign journalist to have died in Syria since March 2011. I'm Ann Salter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the very latest news and updates throughout the day with us at ibtimes.co.uk.